check the Met app yesterday because I was planning to film this video and it said clear skies and no rain. Turns out that clear skies and no rain on the Met app means torrential rain and very cloudy skies, which for making a video is quite annoying. This is a really good part of the walk. I really enjoyed walking the Thames. I will really quickly say the Thames is a very special place in my heart when it comes to locations to be able to run and walk. I was very lucky to have it on my doorstep. The subject of this video is one that I used to avoid talking about. Well, it's a subject that I used to avoid talking about in my old videos, the first ones that are on my YouTube channel. And I miss it quite a lot. The one exercise that single-handedly kick-started my fat to fit revolution. This route along the Thames is where I used to walk. This used to be part of my 20 mile loop. I had two loops back in the day when I first started walking for the first time. And the 10 mile was the one I was trying to build up to and the 20 mile was the spicy one when I felt like something extra special. But yeah, along the Thames, I was very lucky to have the Thames on my doorstep and I would walk it as much as I could. I, I went walking every single day. It's a proper miserable day today. This was not ideal filming condition, especially as my camera is not waterproof. The one exercise that helped me lose over 140 pounds in total. The exercise that I'm talking about is probably the best exercise anyone can attempt if they're overweight, obese, unfit, or has below average abilities. And I'm describing me in 2019. It's a trudge, a hike, a plod, a stroll, a saunter, a march, a ramble. Basically, this video is about the benefits of walking. Walking a really long way. Today I'm gonna to walk 20 miles around one of my old loops that I used to walk around when I lived here. I stood here and filmed one of my videos here. I can't remember which one, ages ago. I had a brainwave to film a video here for some reason. Yeah, I miss walking around here. This seemed like a really good idea, but wearing road trainers on this, this is just, this is just sludge. So like high tide, this is the Thames here. Back in 2019, aged 39 and weighing 190 kg or 420 pounds, hugely obese, with terrible breathing, high cholesterol and one step away from a premature heart attack, I decided enough was enough. I want to talk about why I love walking as a way of getting fit and losing weight. You haven't changed, you stayed the same. I'd still love you anyway. I give you the world like I promise. My problem was that I initially thought walking was a poor man's version of running, which is why I never really made a big deal about it initially in my videos, other than the fact that all I could do was walk. But walking, literally, for weight loss, saved my life. It was one of the best things I ever did. So I'm gonna fall in the Thames if I go down here. So I can stand here. What I do for YouTube videos. One of the reasons I'm making this video, because five years ago, I didn't do it justice. I should have made more videos about how good walking was. When I initially got the buzz, I had my first hit of endorphins. I, I felt really good, is what I'm trying to say. Walking made me feel really good, and then I started doing more of it because I was enjoying it so much, which ultimately led to me having to then start running because I didn't have three hours during the week and work, and I certainly didn't have 12 hours at the weekend with a family. I'd give you the world like I promised So I needed to find a way to get my hit in, to get my endorphin kick, to get my exercise in, lose weight, burn calories, but it not take my entire spare time to do it. So I started running. Had this conversation more than 10 times. After nine, I still wish you Okay guys, 
Today I was supposed to film this and the weather forecast yesterday said sunshine and clear skies. And yeah, it's really not sunshine and clear skies. I've been waiting for a break in the rain because my camera's not waterproof. But now because I've just sprinted out, I'm really warm. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, walking is so much more fun in the sun. Like anything, running, cycling, it's all the summer sport. This is where I make a complete fool of myself. I could never have done this five years ago. Agile as a fox. Whoa. I was at the point of my walking, all I wanted to do was just keep doing it for weight loss. That's it. That was my focus. Eat less, portion control, calorie control, walk, burn calories. It's the Thames behind this wall. River Thames there. That's the estuary that goes out to the ocean. I need to keep walking because uh, I'm going to be all day. I'm going to be longer doing it now, filming it, than I was back in the day when I walked it initially then. The best thing about walking, unlike running, cycling, or even hitting the gym, is it's guaranteed zone two training. So walking slow to go faster. That's pretty much what walking is. It is guaranteed zone two. When I go out for a run, I push myself far too hard. When I run, I push myself really hard and I end up, I always go out with the intention of doing a zone two and end up doing a zone four or zone five. Whereas I don't do that with walking. Walking allows me just to think. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video, other than it just be a story to tell, is because recently I've realized how much I enjoy walking, or how much I miss walking. When you walk, you can disappear off into your own head, think about things that are bothering you, and it allows you time to process, as well as a really good zone two workout. I'd like to go a bit higher though. At the very least, I hope sharing this story, this short story, will motivate someone off the couch, out the door, and if that does happen, then making this video was worthwhile. I did try to run because YouTube was full, and it still is, of people telling me, old me, that running and cycling is the best way to lose weight. I felt at the time, when I was looking for inspiration, that I had to run or cycle, and if I wasn't doing that, then I was wasting my time. really is terrible weather. The app says it's supposed to brighten up later on. I hope it does. When I used to walk back in the day, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's probably the most enjoyment I've had out of any form of any other physical exercise, including going to the gym, all my running. Since the first day that I started walking back in 2019, I've enjoyed all of it, but I've never enjoyed it as much. Now I'll probably rephrase that. Best days I've ever had were probably out on this trail walking. I'm thinking about the next challenges. I'm thinking about the next iteration of things that I want to do. I've kind of accomplished the things that I initially set out to achieve back in 2019 and 2020. And that's what walking gave me. But I'm at a point where I'm kind of thinking about what my challenges are for next year. Rambling, sauntering, a hike. Basically, walking is the best form of exercise. I feel like there's a lot more I need to say about walking, but I can't think of it while I'm out walking. I have loads of great ideas. I need to write this stuff down. And now I'm gonna hand over to future voiceover Ryan. I started walking early in 2019 and I didn't stop. Over the course of 12 months, I racked up hundreds of miles on Strava before I got fed up with Strava and remembering to track my walks, which I always forgot to do. So I dumped Strava. I made a video several years ago now where my editing skills weren't quite as on point as they are now. I'm always learning, every day is a school day. But I made a video about walking, which was along the railway line here. And on that video, I called it Walk the Line, where I walked 60 miles on this loop. One of the hardest things I've ever done. And uh, yeah, that video holds a very special place in my heart because that's where I realise that there is a lot of joy to be found in walking the trails and footpaths around your home. You don't need to find a crazy big challenge like Race of the Stones or the Thames Path Challenge or the Yorkshire Three Peaks to love walking. You can just do it in the footpaths and the streets around where you live. 
You don't even need to have footpaths. You could have, you know, pavements and high streets. So when I was at my lowest, my heaviest, my unhealthiest, walking helped save me. It was literally the only exercise that I could do. I was still really heavy, but it was a good workout. And mainly because I was so heavy, I burnt loads of calories, initially kickstarting the floodgates of weight loss. That worked really well. The train was in the background. Actually looked really good. Here we go. This looks cinematic. Not quite as cinematic when I turn to camera, but it's cinematic on the drone. This is the problem when I go walking. I can't just go for a walk though. I've got to film everything and then the drone's doing my head in. I've got a cinematic shot with a train in the background on my drone. I'll take that. I will never be able to replicate the early days of weight loss that I initially experienced. Best way I can describe it, imagine a large bucket of water and as you tip the bucket up and the water starts to pour out, it first gushes, then flows, and eventually, as the water volume drops, it starts to trickle. That is really cool. Walking initially, back in 2019, was my gushing stage of weight loss. I'm hoping that wind isn't too strong. So in October, I did the 30-30 challenge, which was 30 days of consecutive running, which means no breaks for 30 minutes every day. That was the challenge that kickstarted my want to do the London Marathon. I only stopped walking and then started running because of the time it took to complete the same distance walking. I knew it would be a lot quicker if I could cover it at a faster pace. I eventually lost enough weight that my walks turn into shuffles and eventually those shuffles turn into slow jogs. And because of starting those first walks back in 2019, that then led me into running, which ultimately led me into cycling and other things like park runs, half marathons and full marathons. I'm not mentioning the ultra marathons because they're just mental. Oh, I'm now at the end of my 20 mile hike. The car is just up here. Um, 20 miles has taken me over six hours because of all the filming, the droning. It's like the good old days. I mean, look, the whole point of this video is just to reiterate that walking is pretty much one of the best and original exercises. It's put me in a place where I'm able now to run, I'm able to cycle, and without walking, that would never have been possible. I lost more weight walking than I have doing any other form of exercise because I had so much to lose, so the bucket analogy. It was my gushing phase of fitness, and I miss it. And in another five years, I hope I'm still coming back and doing the same walk again. There's a train coming, look. We don't worry about seas. We recycle and sort by sores. We I do like the railway line. River Thames and the railway line. Find yourself your favourite walking spots, no matter where they are, even if you have to drive to them, and just go for a walk. Cheers, guys. And I consider myself to be extremely privileged because I got to walk here, Sleep less, and here, be more efficient. and here, Come on, and here, climb high, and here, educate, and here. I don't know why I'm saying and here. There's nothing here except the Thames, but and here. I am on my degrees, my masters, and here, look at me, and here as well, somebody. here as well. And of course, I love walking here. just going to leave you on one final point which is more of a warning than it is a point walking is a gateway drug you may start off by walking but imagine where you could be this time next year thank you for watching and see you in next week's video my conclusion is that it's all a lie